Hello everyone, my name is Priya and I welcome you all back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In the last video, we discussed Article 43B, that is Promotion of Cooperative Societies, and had also discussed status of 97th Amendment Act of 2011 in present time. So if you haven't seen that video yet, then the link is given in the description box. In today's video, we will be discussing about Article 44. As per the categorization of articles of DPSP, Article 44 comes under liberal intellectual principles. Article 44 talks about uniform civil code for the citizens. It says, the state shall endeavor to secure for the citizens a uniform civil code throughout the territory of India. This means it is the duty of the state to secure and implement a uniform that is common civil law for all its citizens, irrespective of their religion, caste, class, gender, etc. In short, it talks about one nation, one law. That's what Uniform Civil Code is. One of the most discussed topics of our country. Let's understand this in a better way. Firstly, we need to understand what is Uniform Civil Code. And for that, we need to understand about law. The two basic categories of law are public law and private law. Public laws are those laws which regulates individual versus state relation and which are directly concerned with the society. For example, criminal laws, constitutional laws, income tax law, IPC that is Indian Penal Code etc. These are the laws which are common to all throughout the territory of India. For example, if a person murders someone, then Section 302 will be imposed on that person, whether that person belongs to any religion, caste or class or any gender, punishment will be same. Whereas private laws are those laws which regulates individual versus individual relation and which are mainly concerned with a particular community. Private laws are also known as civil laws or personal laws that are applied to a certain class or a group of people or a particular person based on religion, faith and culture. Under this comes marriage, divorce, inheritance, adoption, guardianship, maintenance, etc. Some laws and acts that exist in India to regulate all these are like under Hindu law, the Hindu Marriage Act 1955, the Hindu Succession Act 1956, the Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act 1956, the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956. These acts are also applicable to Jains, Buddhists, and six. Under Muslim law, the Muslim Personal Law Shariat Application Act 1937, which deals with marriage, succession, inheritance, and charities among Muslims, the Dissolution of Muslim Act 1939 deals with the circumstances in which Muslim women can obtain divorce, the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Divorce Act 1986 deals with the rights of Muslim women. Christians are regulated by the Indian Christian Marriage Act 1972. Parsis are regulated by the Parsi Marriage and Divorce Act 1936. Apart from these, there are few central laws that doesn't follow any particular religion. For example, the Special Marriage Act 1954, under which inter-religion marriages can take place. So while talking about Uniform Civil Code, 
it totally means abolition or removal of these personal laws there shall be a common law for everyone throughout the territory of india irrespective of their religion caste class gender etc that's what uniform civil code means but article 44 which talks about uniform civil code has many times been declared as dead letter of the indian constitution by the supreme court why because this article that is article 44 is one article which is part of the indian constitution and is present since the commencement of the indian constitution but it has never been used though the central government tried several times to make laws regarding uniform civil code but had to take a back step because of various reasons let's talk about the reasons that led to the failure of uniform civil code in india and the reason why is it still a dead letter despite being supported by so many people so as we all know india is a diversified country diversity in religion culture language faith belief and also it is geographically diversified so in such a country making one common law for everyone is a difficult task but now it is not a matter of difficulty it is a matter of need to remove gender disparity because of various religious laws to abolish some personal laws that are reason of loophole in the legal system to ensure equality of status among the citizens and to promote authentic secularism in india if we talk about pre independence when there was british rule in the country britishers never wanted to interfere in the personal laws of hindus muslims and other communities why because their foremost reason was to exploit india economically and the second reason was to play divide and rule policy to keep indians divided so they had their own reasons which they were doing for their own benefits but when we talk about post independence that is after 1947 the time when the constitution of india was being written then there was a lot of debate on the issue of uniform civil code there were many laws in the past which were discriminatory unfair to minority groups and women many members of the constituent assembly wanted to implement uniform civil code in the country they wanted to abolish such laws they wanted to govern india by the constitution so that the same laws apply equally to all citizens irrespective of their religion caste class gender etc but the country was not ready at that time the uniform civil code was not adopted in the constitution why because of the diversity of the country another reason was the partition of india and pakistan there was constant chaos in the country the social structure was not right at that time there was immense opposition to uniform civil code inside and outside the parliament people outside never wanted their personal laws to be abolished they thought it is a threat to their religious freedom the members of the constituent assembly realized that the time was not right for it so they played at the safer side they inserted the topic of uniform civil code in dpsp that is directive principles of state policy as article 44 instead of making it a fundamental right they decided to implement it when india was ready to accept it 
but as you all know that the uniform civil code has not yet been implemented in the country and that's why article 44 is still a dead letter however pandit jawahar lal nehru the first prime minister of india set the ground of uniform civil code by passing hindu code bill in the year 1955 to 1956 This code contained four different laws the Hindu Marriage Act 1955 the Hindu Succession Act 1956 the Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act 1956 and the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956 The first act was passed in the year 1955 and rest three were passed in the year 1956 These laws were passed to reform Hindu personal laws in India and abolish certain personal laws. Pandit Jawahar Lal Nehru said this was the first step towards bringing a uniform civil code in India. But that time hasn't come yet. After that many such cases happened. in which it was realized that how much uniform civil code is necessary shah banu case was one of those cases that created a lot of controversy in india shah banu appealed for justice after being divorced by her husband she asked for alimony which she got only for 3 months according to muslim law she went to the supreme court where supreme court gave decision in her favor shah banu got the maintenance but the verdict of supreme court was opposed by many people and politicians as the decision was in conflict of islamic law after that case the government under prime ministership of rajiv gandhi passed muslim women protection act 1986 but the question was same why not uniform civil code many governments came and gone but uniform civil code is still a proposal at present goa is the only indian state with uniform civil code since 1867 that follows portuguese civil code If you want to know more about uniform civil code in Goa then let me know in the comment section we'll discuss in detail Apart from Goa Uttarakhand has also come forward to take steps towards uniform civil code Uttarakhand CM Pushkar Singh Dhami approved and has recently that is in March 2022 constituted a committee headed by retired supreme court judge to implement uniform civil code so probably in uttarakhand there will be uniform civil code soon so that was all about article 44 that is uniform civil code from my side i hope you find this information useful and relevant I'll see you in the next video with another article till then thank you so much for watching this video